So I think there's no denying that this is a competitive industry. The 10-year bond is the highest it's been since 2014. The refi market's dried up and margins are razor thin. Why did you decide to take on the tall task of reforming a mortgage company? Can we pass? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I think there isn't, the, I think there's a myth that any business is easy, okay? Um, even if you're a tech startup, right? They're the ones we see in the news right now that raise fabulous amounts of money, stock price goes through the roof, et cetera, et cetera. Everything is cutthroat. We live in a competitive, um, dynamic marketplace in the United States, in the world really, um, where any advantage you get is quickly kind of chipped away at until you're ba back to sort of competitive break-even profits. And so if I, if I were to go and say, which industry would I want to be in, if I could just wave a magic wand and go to it, um, I think there's cycles. So if you had the choice, if we were just investors, right, I'm, gonna go and I'm gonna invest in this industry for a while, get out of it, then go invest in this one. But we're not, we're operators, right? And so as an operator, you wanna look at um, where is there, a, in what industries is there opportunity uh, to outperform and gain market share and grow? And so I think the answer to that is where I feel so privileged, and I think everybody in this room, is that we are stewards of a 100-year-old le legacy, right? And so the chance to join an organization that had been around for 100 years, Prince and Morge itself, I think 32 or 33 years now, that had you know, two, or two or three generations of people come through, build the company, build the balance sheet, and build a reputation of, hey, those are good people, right? Um, no legacy issues. In a marketplace that, you know, the mortgage industry, it's, it's the, I, I believe it's, it's the largest asset, I think residential mortgages are the largest asset class in the United States, okay? Of course that's gonna be competitive. Um, but to take a track record of a, a hard-earned reputation, a strong balance sheet, and a great group of people, and the chance to not have to just maintain our business, but to grow market share is like a dream come true. Right, no, and I agree with you. I think that the, uh, um, there's only one industry that can bring the US economy to its knees, um, and that's ours, right? And I think a history, w history shows that, right? So, um, no, I, I, I agree with you. Um, it, it'll just say, I, I, think it, I think this industry gives us an opportunity for each of us to do what we want, right? right? You can scale, you can take risk, you have to be operationally really good, you're risking capital, you're dealing with a commodity, so there's markets, there's, you can go across the United States with, like, there's a lot of really cool things you can do in it. So I also think it, it provides enough complexity right. um, to outperform within, right? Because it's not, it, there's somewhat, there's some high barriers to entry, um, and it's, it's complex. Right. And so when, where there is complexity, there's an uncertainty, and those are opportunities to outperform, and I think we're proving that.